There should be one 9 volt and three AA batteries. The watch battery, the last one, is included. This is everything in the box. This is a double-sided tape for the doorbell to mount it. Or you can use this plate, I believe, to mount it. Either or. And the hardware, screws and the anchors. I believe these are outdoor units. So these should light up because they do nothing else. They just have buttons. But they're not they're not buttons. Shiny white. Nothing on the bottom. Nothing on the top. Uh, on the left side is the volume and uh, I guess the mu different musical tones that they'll have. Bell one, bell two, and then the back mounting hose that looks like the speaker, Some stickers and serial number information, the battery compartment. This unit takes uh, three AAA batteries, so you'll need three AAA batteries for the main unit. I'm putting in the battery.
Now, just plugging this in, it went to one, and the other one goes to two automatically. I didn't have to do anything. All right, so let me just look at this unit itself. Okay, it's plugged in. That's the volume. I lowered it, and these are the different music options. Okay, I think we've heard that already. So you can see it has a lot of different sounds. This is the inside of the doorbell, and it brings it takes the regular watch battery. Uh, I think I have to pull this. Yep, I have to pull this out, but I don't really want to pull it out. Um, No, let me pull it off. I have to replace it. Cool. So according to the operation guide, it's water, it's weather resistance, but not waterproof. So they suggest, you know, some cover, not an area where, you know, rain can really get on it. And you can turn it on and off. Uh, it says here by selecting, uh, sorry, uh, sensor one, sensor two, and doorbell button on the back. And if you hold it uh, for, I think it's 10 seconds, it'll turn off. And then you do the, uh, the same thing again to turn it back on if you want quiet time. All right, let's set it up. I put all the batteries in. Oh, I forgot which one's which now. <laughs> Have to figure that out. Um, and uh, let's see how they work. So the alarm is so loud that I'm putting it on the outside. It's right on the other side of the door. And you can still hear it. Um, you're gonna be able to hear the cars coming by. I have it right at the road. I'll show you, it's actually, 
you see the tree in the middle or the tree that's falling apart in the middle that's why I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put a post there and it's gonna be facing outward and it's gonna ring um, there's a car that's gonna drive by right now I'm gonna show how it sounds just went off as you can see so it works it's on the other side let me see if you can see it. it's on the floor I'm planning to mount it in that area but I might even get closer I'm not sure I ended up uh, mounting the sensor on my bird feeder pole that's it right there and it faces straight across the road so I'm on a cul-de-sac, so if anybody comes this way, the alarm goes off. So that's my setup. And it works. It works very well. I think it says, um, I forget the exact footage, but um, it works very well. Uh, I hear it when anybody goes through. I don't know if you're going to hear it if I go past it. Because it's inside. No, you can't hear it. It's inside, that's why. All right. Thank you.